visit Seattle. So it's just, yeah. Vancouver is in Seattle or the Vancouver, Canada? <laughs> Vancouver, Canada. <laughs> hey, neighboring country, right? Yeah. My name's Larissa. Um, I'm from Colorado Springs. Um, recently moved to Washington and we just came to eat today. <laughs> There's a plus. Uh, all the beautiful people are moving to Washington now. What pulled you here? Military. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Daphne. I am from Tacoma, Washington. And I'm here for Fikis to grab a bite. I think we can end the show here now because uh, that's just those voices, the looks, different interests, different places is good enough. But anyhow... My name is Kaka. This is a Kenyan channel uh, by a Kenyan in America. And uh, it has been very nice so far. I've met all sorts of people. You are the prettiest, I must say. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Be telling everybody that, huh? <laughs> <laughs> we'll take it for now. Look at the pessimists of the world we'll now. What it. do you mean? <laughs> Now, because we have people who are not coming from Kenya, they're coming from other countries as well. How is like life like in America? Um, compared to Africa, it's, it's different, of course, but... process. Uh, now, we just have to give up on uh, whatever would have happened. One of them needed to be on this seat, she can't join us. But anyhow, the show continues and it is very nice. Coming from Kenya, and Kenya is election time. That's right. In the next 10 days or less. Tell us about Kenyan politics, Kenyan elections, what are your hopes? Probably I'm not the best person to talk about politics, but uh, Kenyan politics has been interesting growing up. Uh, I can't really speak to it a lot. I didn't grow up in Kenya. But uh, with the upcoming elections, all I can say is um, let's choose peace. Whoever wins will, you know, they'll do their job as the president. And as Kenyans, you have to just hustle there and then feed your family. Keep that in mind and uh, choose peace after August 9th. I want to come back to this lady here after I'm finished with this one because now this is Washington where weed is legal and one of the presidential candidates in Kenya says he could legalize weed in Kenya if elected president in August. Well, what are the chances that Wajakoya, Professor George Wajakoya wins the presidency and brings this sanity to the Kenyan politics? He thinks Kenyan politics are insane. So he needs to bring sanity, uh, legalize weed, and make Kenya feel free again. What's your take on that? I don't know who this person is, I'm sorry. That's fine. I don't, yeah, I don't know who this person is. And um, I think Kenya has...
has to adapt to what the rest of the world is. And she made it here. Because I know cannabis has been proven to help with ailments that no other medication has done in the past. We're talking about the types of people who are people dealing with anxiety and sleep disorders. It's, it's not, cannabis is not only just for people to get high. There's benefits of it that as a country can, we could benefit from it as long as we have regulations in place to make sure it's not a drug of choice just for recreational purposes. What do you think, Professor? Well, Jacoya, you have a follower, so one more vote from the US. She's not voting though, because she's here, but otherwise, she thinks it's the time we started a conversation on weed in Kenya because the rest of the world is doing what needs to be done now medically. Someone else here. Um, being from Colorado, where marijuana is also legal, um, and actually have grown up there before it was, um, I did see a big change in the economy for the better. Um, you know, newer streets, um, newer buildings. Um, honestly, I believe that it can do a lot for the economy itself, other than uh, individual persons, again, um, would be perceived to just like to get high. It's just done right. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, it's done right. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't smoke, not even tobacco. <laughs> Not even weed, no nothing, but if do other things, I'm not mentioning what. Okay. But <laughs> um, <laughs> I don't do all those. But all ladies and gentlemen, do I have a diversity of a bench here of ladies coming from different backgrounds, different ideas about life, and apparently they are not into politics so much. Just to bring you on to speed with politics in Kenya. There are four presidential candidates who have been cleared to run now. There is Raila Amala Odinga is the senior most. He's 70 something, almost 80 years old. He has tried, this is his fifth time trying the presidency in Kenya. And he has the backing of the current president who is retiring in the next 10 days. And Raila Odinga is supposed to be the leader of official opposition in Kenya, but he has the backing of the president. That is so ridiculous if I would say, but then that's what happened in Kenya now. The current deputy president doesn't see eye to eye with the president. They fell out. And then there's another one, Professor Wajakoya, who was a former cop in the past in the 90s. When they killed the foreign minister of Kenya in, the, in 1990, he was one of the detectives who were investigating the murder. And he had to flee the country because of, obviously, for obvious reasons, that is Kenya. And this Wahike Moura, who is a priest, he's a preacher, and he's an advocate, he's a lawyer as well. Four people, different backgrounds, different everything. And we talk about elections in Kenya because, uh, when you talk about elections in Kenya, we start with the presidency because it is a huge prize to win in Kenya. Uh, the general elections in Kenya can bring this little to speed as well. There are six ballots to tick on the election date. There is the presidency, there is the governor, there are 47 county governments in Kenya, and there is a senate, a senator, there are 47 of them, and there is a member of the National Assembly, which here would be the equivalent of the House of Representatives and the Senate, that's the parliament, and then there is a women rep, a women representative member of the National Assembly for every county, there are 47 of them, and then there is the member of county assembly like leopard authorities here it's a huge election very expensive very competitive kenya is a democratic country but at times it explodes into violence when people cannot agree on either election results or other different so the next 10 days in kenya are we are in the US, so I don't want to dampen your moods. You can go have your meals because you're coming to Rafiki restaurant in Kent and it is food time. I'll join you later. Okay. This is Kaka for Trap TV. Thank you. Thank you, Kaka. You're welcome.